did a quick haul at Lush and Target. I just kind of was out and about with my husband, just shopping and things like that. Um, I'm, one thing I want to mention is that the sun is kind of fading, so I have some... I just have my lamp right next to me, so that's where you're getting a lot of the yellow light. Um, so if things look a little bit off, if colors look a little bit off, then I apologize in advance. Um, I just got home too late to get the best sunlight. So the first thing I got um, from Lush was the Breath of Fresh Air toner water. Looks like that. And I've been looking for a new toner because I feel like the one that I've been using, it's not a real toner, it's just a rose water and glycerin spray that I use right after cleansing my face. And I feel like that gives me a really nice um, touch of hydration to my skin, but it doesn't really do anything to balance my skin or to treat, you know, trouble areas and things like that. And my skin has, I guess in this past two weeks, have been kind of acting up. It was doing really great at first. Um, I was not having any breakouts, my skin seemed to be clearing up a lot. And then this past week has been pretty bad. It's I just got a lot of new breakouts and I didn't try anything new really so I'm not exactly sure what it is and I also feel like my skin has changed from being really dry to more of like a normal um, combination I guess so like a normal dry so everything looks pretty normal but then I also have some really dry patches and the areas where I have the dry patches are the areas where I'm breaking out and so I feel like I felt like I was needed a new toner that was going to kind of balance my skin and so when I went into Lush I was really kind of debating between this one and the tea tree spray because the tea tree spray is supposed to be for like acne and oily skin um, so I, I asked the lady you know the representative that was there I was just kind of like you know I'm looking for something that's going to clear my skin up but not be too drying because I do have some dry patches and things like that. And she said she recommended this one, the Breath of Fresh Air, because she said it has rose and aloe vera to kind of like do like the moisture and kind of calm your skin. And then it also has like clarifying herbs to, you know, kind of battle some of the blemishes. And this is supposed to like balance your skin. So I'm hoping that this works. Um, I don't know. I hope so. I haven't found too much luck with Lush products in the past, um, but that could just be me. I feel like I don't get to use them consistently long enough before I make up my decision because I like to rotate my skincare around and stuff and it always expires on me before I get a chance to use up everything. So, um, But I'm planning on using this every day, morning and night, and see if that will help balance my skin. And I also got a little bit of a sample of the Grease Lightning. And it's kind of interesting. It's just like a really gelatinous type of um, jelly. You can kind of see it there, how it shakes. Um, so it's like really interesting. I don't know. It does have a really strong tea tree smell and like a lemony smell. So I feel like that might help. And she said it's a, like on the bottle, it says it's a spot treatment, but she said she used to put it like all over her face, just a really light layer, like morning and night, and didn't dry out her skin. And it kind of helps with um, her blemishes. And so what she recommended to put a light layer all over my face right after washing of this first, and then spray on this, and then put on any like serum and moisturizer that you use um, after your toner. So I'm going to try that out and see if that works, and then I'll get back to you and see if, give you an update to see whether or not that really did um, clear up my acne that I'm facing right now. Um, and so that was it for Lush, and now I went to Target right after. And at Target, I was kind of just kind of restocking um, some of the things that I needed. So like I said, I needed a new serum. The one I've been using is the Estee Lauder, um, here actually, the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. Um, and I'm sure you've seen this in magazines and stuff. It gets a lot of rave reviews. But for me, honestly, it didn't really do much. I mean, I have it in my empties and I'll, I'll do an empties video so I can talk a little bit more about that. But and it's really expensive, so I just wanted to get some a simple serum, nothing too crazy. I feel like when my face is breaking out, the more natural type products I use, the better it is. Like for example, I have like a night oil that I use like right after my moisture or after my moisturizer, and um, I usually use that. But when my face is breaking out, I'll just use regular organic coconut oil, and that seems to help a lot more. So that's why I went to Lush to try to get something that was a little bit more natural at least for the first steps of my skincare and for the serum at Target I just got the Olay Regenerist um, serum I know it's, a lot of people have 
talked about it. I'm sure there's plenty of reviews online about this. I've used it a long time ago, um, maybe like three, four years ago. Um, I've used this one and I've used the one in the white bottle that's like slightly clear. Um, and I remember this being a lot better. And this one was about, how much was it? Like $22, I think. Um, $23. So I figured I liked it before. It, it's not like I saw like major difference, but it's light enough and it doesn't feel heavy underneath makeup and things like that. So I picked this one up. And I do know that you can get this at Costco usually for a lot cheaper, like if you buy two at a time and things like that. So um, that might be a better bargain. Next, I ran out of leave-in conditioner for my hair and so I picked up a new one. The one I usually get is the Infusium 23 for repair. I think it sort of says it's the repair one. Um, and I love that one because you can get like a giant bottle like this big for only about maybe like $13 and I just like refill, refill my spray bottle but the last time I went I couldn't find it so I bought something else and I didn't really like that one and I've used up that one now so I went up to go get it and they didn't have it again so I don't know if they just don't sell it at Target anymore and I need to go to like Sally's or something to pick it up but um, there's no Sally's near me so I just figured I'd get whatever I could and so I got the Healthy Sexy Hair Leave-In Conditioner. It's like this soy version? Yeah, soy tri wheat leave-in conditioner. And I've heard things about this. I don't think it's a miracle, you know, but I've heard it's pretty nice and I just wanted like a simple spray on leave-in conditioner. Nothing like a cream or anything like that. Just something I can spray in my hair um, when I'm just air drying and things like that. So, pick this one up. I do know that this one also you can probably get at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or even Ross sometimes for cheaper. They tend to have a lot of the sexy hair um, line at those stores. Um, so that's an option for you if you want to save a little bit more money. Next I'm trying a new dry, dry shampoo. So I usually use the Dove dry shampoo and I love that. I think it smells really nice and doesn't make my hair feel gunky or anything. I can usually do third day hair with it pretty nicely without it feeling dirty. Um, but I figured I'd try something new just to check it out and I saw this Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. So it looks like this in the green. And I don't know, I just thought it'd be nice. I like that it says refresh. I don't know if that m means that it'll really make my hair feel cleaner. But um, yeah, and I seem like you get a lot because the Dove one I tend to use up really fast because the bottle is only like maybe this tall compared to this one. Um, so yeah, I want to just try it out. And the last two things I got at Target were kind of fun. Um, so I had bought stockings for um, my husband and I, like Christmas stocking stuffers or stockings. And I bought those at the 99 cent store and they were really thin and almost see-through and I just felt like the more you put it in it, I felt like it was just going to rip, like the hook part was just going to rip right off and it just seemed really flimsy and I wanted to use, I wanted to buy something that I could use, um, you know, for a few years at least and this is the first time we have, ever, we are ever doing stocking stuffers so I'm really excited. Um, I really like it. I think I like it a lot more than just getting gifts because we're not really gift people and we don't really give each other gifts and stuff. Um, I don't know, just because we're married and it's not really a surprise. So I look in my bank statement, I'm going to see everything that he bought and he's going to see everything I bought. So um, we decided to do something like this instead where we just kind of do lots of little things and you know we get to open it on Christmas. And I think it's a lot more meaningful too because you're forced to think more about the other person like from day to day because you kind of think about oh I wonder what else I could put in there and things like that so I'm really glad that we're starting it and I decided to pick up some nicer stockings and so we decided on these they are these like knit type sweater kind that weren't too too flimsy because at Target they have a lot of knit kinds that um, seem like if you put up something heavy in there it's just gonna stretch it down um, but these don't seem like that and they have these cute little pom-poms on the side which I really liked um, and then I got the red one for myself and then the green ones were, were for him and they're $13 each they also had some really nice knit ones with the initials on there but our names both start with S so I felt like it would be too hard to differentiate which one is ours um, or which one's mine and which one's his and stuff so um, we tried to get these for the two different colors that's it for my haul just something really quick um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've used anything, especially the Lush um, 
Breath of Fresh Air toner water. I haven't used any Lush toner water. I've heard some great things about the, the Roma one. Um, but and I was going to go in with the mindset of maybe picking up that one or the tea tree one. Because I didn't really hear much about this one. But, you know, the associate said that this one was best for balancing my skin. So if you've used it before, if you used it or any of the other ones, please leave a comment below. Let me know how that worked for you. Let me know if you liked it, if it's worth the money. Because I know it's a little bit pricier. Um, and yeah, that's it I guess. So have a great week and then I'll see you in my next video. Bye.